I think. Yeah, um, maybe we can wait for a couple of minutes just in case somebody else sure. wins. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, I don't, yeah that's what yeah. you uh, I'm, 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 I'm commenting on your comments, by the way, in the, oh, okay. the bull records, just in case I want to, to go through it. Oh, yeah, I'll look right now. By the way, I started recording. Okay. Um, hi, Matt. Hi. I'd just like to go on record saying the internet's yeah. bad. This thing's like, never going to catch on. I am taking notes for the meeting. Uh, yeah. Do we have an agenda other than uh, discussion of pull requests? This is one of the, this is the decision making meeting, right? Mm, I guess it technically uh, would be, wouldn't it? Because we said it was going to be the last meeting of the month before the first meeting for the other group, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So I suppose, yes, that is the case. That is correct, Kevin. <clears throat> Pull request 35, right, Jesus? Uh, I think so. No, 36. 36. Oh, 35, sorry, 35 sorry. I I'm think, is less controversial. Sorry, sorry. I'm looking at issues. Mm. I don't know why I clicked issues. You're absolutely right, Jesus. Uh, I do remember now that you've said something that we did say Percival for the reference of implementations. I'd forgotten. Um, in any case, let, let's now go. Now that you reminded that. me. I'm <laughs> no, let, let's go through that because th this is a common confusion with other people too, and maybe it's the moment to clarify that in any. So, in any so my response was that now that you mention it, yeah, you're right. Like. And then I said, if we if, if we keep minutes, then we could remember these. Things. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> but yeah, when you mentioned it, I, I recall exactly that we said that. And my only, I guess, are we going to? I guess my only question is, I've got a few Augur folks working on things that use other, like get GH Torrent or GitHub API data, yeah. and I'm wondering if we think that'll be okay, or if they need to gather it. And, and I, I guess that's my question. I mean, I can see we're getting it in Percival would give us a consistent, easy to, I don't know. I, I mean, I can, I can see both sides of that coin, so. Okay, let's just start anyway. Let, sorry, let's just start anyway, if you, if you want. So okay. let's, just start, let's just start with that one. So for everybody yeah. uh, joining, uh, we are talking about pull request 36 in the repository. And uh, I was proposing um, what I thought was the result of the last meeting where we were talking about the procedure and how to contribute and all of that. What I tried yeah. to do was basically to rewrite the readme to reflect this. And yeah. Sam was commenting on the specific case of how to build a reference implementation and how to build an example. Um, I think that at some point in the past, we decided that only for reference implementations, because, because we need some reference implementation, we were to use the DEMS produced by Percival because they are easy to use and basically produce the same information that you have in the original data source. Yep. The, the main idea for this, just, just to refresh to you all, is to have um, something that we can easily compare to any other implementation. So that if anyone decides to implement the same metric on say uh, GitHub archive data, for instance, uh, the results should be the same. So if we can count commits that in the way and with Percival, we get the result of 35, we should go to any other data source with any other procedure and the results should be 352. And that was the main idea. And that's what, what, what I tried to codify in this slide. So, opinions. <laughs> and <clears throat> I, I think it's mostly, I think it's good. I, think it's good. Um, I remember what we said about Percival and I don't actually have a, a problem with it. I think there might be some implementations that don't use Percival, but 
Um, I guess that's the, but, but I mean, that, that could happen. That could happen for some of the metrics. Maybe we don't have a personal implementation. Hmm. And in, in, if that's the case, we could decide either to have um, a specific implementation without some other retriever, or maybe writing some code for Percival for including that data source, whatever mm -hmm. we prefer. But I would like to, to, to deal with those cases when they occur. And I'm, going, I'm sure they're going to occur. But. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, and is this, this is separate than the cover page. The, so I was gonna, I'm creating a cover page, which kind of describes the purpose of the group. And this is more of a how to contribute guide. Yeah, right. I mean, maybe maybe the part related to contributions could later go to a contributing file. Right. I just prefer it to have everything in one place now for ease in the discussion. Once we are okay with the general text, we can decide in a further pull, pull repos, for instance, to structure it in some other way. And for instance, taking out the contributing information to our contribution file. But right now, it's a mixture of yeah. how we proceed in the how we proceed in the in the group and how. Agreed. We both things are together to yep. some extent. I agree. I'm just okay. confirming my task that I've not done with. Okay. Um, uh, and, so. Uh, and, you, and you have another comment which is interesting, which is the one about uh, the relationship between use cases and uh, a goal question metric. Yeah, and, that would. I just. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as I commented, I really don't have an answer. So, yeah. uh, if, you remember, if you remember, if you remember, we introduced use cases for giving a chance to people not very familiar with metrics to basically talk about what they need and maybe talk in terms of questions, easy to understand to them, not necessarily question as you understand them in goal question metrics. Of course, my, my impression is the same questions could be used for goal question metrics if they are, you know, if they are right in the right way, let's say. Um, but for now, I really don't know how this is going to match with the goal question metrics process. So that's why I, I, for now, I would propose to leave it that way and maybe try to refine the idea during the next weeks as we see how use cases are coming in and how we can relate them. So for instance, if you have a look at the one that Ray, Ray Pike is proposing, uh, my impression is that could be very easily uh, well, a, a new, um, how do you, how will we call that, a new uh, focus area mm -hmm. because he's interested in basically understanding how people join the project and how they are dealt with when they join the project. And that could mm -hmm. be a new focus area, for instance. Okay. And, and maybe what he's proposing could be the goals for that, for that focus area. But, but I think the, right now it's difficult to say. Okay. So what do you think? Can we keep the text as such? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, yeah. I, okay. I think we don't need to define it all before we define it. Um, okay. The fact that we don't know the connection isn't a problem. Okay. It, I was it, it, I was reading it like I was just reading it like I was reading it, and I was like, "Well, what's the connection?" And yeah. No, no. I, I completely. We don't know. <laughs> so we should yeah. just do it a while and figure it out. I agree. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree, and um, I would like to find a more clear connection so that, from my use case, we can more easily derive the new metrics or whatever. Uh, but but for now, I, I, honestly, I don't know. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it as it is, like, um, okay, like resolving that conversation. Okay, okay thank you, Austin. Uh, Any other comment by you or by somebody else on this pull request 36? And we have a person I'm not, I don't know, uh, Jace, that's joined us. I don't know if anyone else. Jace, hello. If that's how you say your name. Or did you accidentally just, stumble? Just really trying to find the uh, unmute button and not <laughs> having success. We all, we all struggle with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I'm Jay Singer Dumars. I uh, work at Google. Um, oh. I'm on the Developer Relations uh, EDII Council. Nice. And I'm also on the Code of Conduct Committee for uh, Kubernetes. And I'm, I'm a leader in many places. We're wearing the same shirt. <laughs> it's a <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the best shirts ever. Um, it is. A, it's a great shirt. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I'm mostly interested in the Chaos DNI and uh, working group, uh, and well, I mean the Chaos project generally is is super awesome. But I don't have a lot of bandwidth, so I'm sort of trying to target my involvement and just kind of keeping an eye on the the DNI part. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, I, 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 it's been hard lately. I've had almost no cycles, so I'm sort of listening at this point. <laughs> no, that's cool. We find a welcome. That's cool. Okay. And Georg, you should probably let Chase know where he is. <laughs> yes. Uh, hi, Chase. We moved our hi. DNI meetings to Mondays. Oh, okay. So, so this, this is meeting is actually work. for the growth mature name decline work group right now. Okay, great. Could you send me a new invite when you get a chance? Sure. Um, do I still I have your email? I'll find it probably. It's it's Jace at Google.com. J A I C E. Okay. Perfect. So I'll let you I'll folks have your meeting. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to stick around, but <laughs> no, I, I, since we since we I, noticed. I, I think uh, this is a bit uh, a bit too deep in the weeds for my for my day. So, uh, all right, good understand. Well, you're doing amazing work, and and the communities that that are served by these statistics and this project really appreciate it. So, <coughs> thanks, thanks, to, nice to meet you, and um, thank you. See you later. See you later, Chase. Bye. <clears throat> Sorry, I wanted to be welcoming of the new person, but I ended up. Yeah, no, very good idea. Thank very you. Easy. That was very helpful. Yeah. <laughs> At least he didn't stick around for the whole meeting. <laughs> wonder, this is weird diversity and inclusion stuff that they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even understand what it is. <laughs> okay. So I was saying uh, any other comment on 36? No. I mean, I think, I think, um, okay. Great, probably, then. It looks like, I think we've, were the, were the pull requests that Carter submitted yesterday already closed? Uh, sorry. Carter submitted a few pull requests yesterday. Yeah, and, and I, I merged them, I think. Okay, yeah, they were they were all pretty maintenance oriented, so. Yeah, I yeah, I, I, I had some comments and we were sending some, some messages, but finally I, I decided to um, merge them because I think that my comments can be addressed later on. So it's yep. better to have, because uh, right. the main concern were, was that there were some metrics that uh, we are not using right now in any of the different categories, the categories that we have, uh, right. but they were still defined. So maybe yeah. at some point we need to remove them, but for now we can keep them and decide later on that. So yeah, I think we have a lot that didn't get mapped when we did the focus areas. Mm -hmm. um, and we just need to map them. Yeah. Yeah. So in any case, we can decide later. So we can All start. Right. We can work with uh, what we have. I just and, merged uh, 36. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And um, and then we have uh, 37, which is just the renaming of directories, and it's just to do we use a shorter names. So it's it's only that. Yeah, uh, and it can be merged. Yeah, I, I yeah, that's just housekeeping. Yeah. Cool. And uh, and the other one. It's uh, 38. It's uh, it's mainly for restructuring a bit the file on the MIDI oh, node. Okay. All right. And again, I think it's some kind of uh, housekeeping, and uh, so that's it. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, the only two left. The only two left is uh, 21, where Georg needs to uh, do a minor change for avoiding the conflict that we have now, which I don't remember now, but I think it was um, renaming the file or something like that. Georg, maybe you remember? Yeah. yeah, it was something minor like that. I haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, okay, great. And I think that's the only problem with that, which uh, we, we cannot merge because of that conflict. And the other one is- I think it's probably uh, like a ghost conflict too, because I think Forks has been moved to a completely different directory, so. Yeah, so you might just report the repo, Georg, and put it in the current place. Yeah, I think it's only a oh, model of right moving the file. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, and then uh, there is the other one, which is related to some changes on one of the notebook, or oh, sorry, on one of the definitions for open issues. Yep. And, uh, and I think it's, uh, uh, let me check. Yeah, it is. It is still waiting for your comments on um, as in, on whether on whether right. the parameters make sense or not. Yeah, so that, that want, makes more sense. I get it now. If you want to have a look at it offline, so no need of doing it now because this so is a minor. This is a minor thing. I think. Yeah, I think it's a minor thing. I just I looked it over and. 
yeah my please do are, my my questions are addressed and i guess now because okay. we move things there's a conflict <laughs> yeah um, but but for the so, conflict i can do it but i need to that, do it yeah. in the command line so i can yeah. i can solve the conflict i'm not so i hit approve because it looks I, I i get it now and it looks okay. like you addressed okay. my questions so that's, that's great thanks and then it can be merged so yeah, i guess the last two that are open are going to be merged okay and that's and, uh, yeah. and now if if you want we can move to issues mm -hmm. and uh, in issues we have first of all the, the phase the first use case which is this use case by ray and uh, i would encourage you to to go and have a look at it and comment because since this is the first one it's it's probably going to to somehow define the path for others so the idea was to um, work in this case which is important to ray and to his company and uh, the idea is to check specifically the case of first-time contributors on how they are reviewed and how they are dealt with from several points of view so he started with the uh, template that we proposed by having a name and by having a general uh, a general um, let's say goals and some questions as you can see and the idea now is to uh, start by discussing here and once we have a certain consensus first of all that this is a, a, an interesting use case and second that the general structure is right produce uh, the first pull request with mm -hmm. it which would be uh, let's say that the first discussion on the text of the use case so right now the discussion should be general and then in the pull request we can this we can discuss on the details of the description of the pull request according to the template that we are borrowing from uh, um, from I don't remember now where so it's only for a heads up for you to to go there and discuss and comment and that's it no need no need to approve now or anything else yeah, my, as I read through this one, um, my my first question is, this this, I think, the main thrust of the use case is focused on first time contributors. I think there are some questions I'm reading about core developers and who they are, and I think I think either we define core developers, which is I think harder than new contributors, or we just say new contributors versus the rest of the universe, or perhaps new contributors and some kind of tiered comparison with other other contributors. Yeah, that, that's an issue that Georg also raised. <coughs> and I, yeah, and, I'm reading Georg's yeah, comments. Yeah, and I agree with it. Um, uh, here is where we need to work in converting the general ideas that Ray has mm -hmm. on a specific definition. I, I think, I think, yeah. No, that I, I just saying, I, I know the general idea because I've been discussing with him and the general idea that he has is whether somebody coming to the community is dealt with like people who has been in the community for a long while mm -hmm. or not. And, uh, and to which extent you can measure differences and you can measure differences between the different people coming. And, and uh, it's difficult to say, but probably what he's talking about co-developers is similar to people contributing usually or people who are considered as the core of the project or something like that, which is, I know, very uh, undefined, but the, the, the general concept is clear. It's basically people who tend to have a social network and, um, and a use of, um, of collaborating and, and contributing to this project. So mm -hmm. that's what many people call the core group or whatever. I agree that we need an, an, a way of defining that. Maybe we can uh, we can wait for them to the specific definition of the use case, or or do it now? I don't know. So, what do you think? Uh, I think if we focus this use case on new contributors, it's easy to define. I think if we try to get into the game of defining core developers, it just makes it harder. And if I'm reading the questions, they're really about. Um, I, mean, how, I guess the first. Hmm. So the problem is that if you are going to compare, I think, new there, I think there are several use cases here. Actually, I think there's more than one use case. 
or maybe the use case needs to be defined broadly because he opens with a new first time contributor. Um, and the first several questions are about or the first two questions. In, well, the first three, first three questions include first time contributors, but then it quickly involves into the median user versus first time contributors. Uh, and then core developers to respond. <clears throat> so I think that okay. we'll, we'll so this is one use case. It's about how is response to the to the universe of contributors, and it's setting it's setting first timers against a couple different tiers of contributors. If I'm reading it correctly. So I, I think it is about how new contributors are dealt with, and uh, for that, what, what we need to define is with what you compare, because you right. can compare with the rest of the project, or you can compare with core for some definition of core, or to something else. But the general problem is that if you compare to the to the rest of the project, and there are a lot of new contributors or one-time right. contributors, for instance, it's mm -hmm. difficult to make a sensible comparison. Yeah. Because Usually you want to compare with, let's say, the normal, and the normal yeah. is usually what core developers do. And that's, that's why not normal. introducing core developers. Yeah. Well, you know, for some defi definition of normal, right? Right. No, I know. It's, it's, it's Halloween here in the States, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little. Um, so, uh, but, but I agree with you that if uh, since core developers are in most of the questions, either we define core developers or this is going to be very fuzzy. Well, he's got core developers in some, but then average or median contr Okay, yeah, uh, average or median. So I'm just trying to get like, so one of the interesting things about use cases is, as I read through it, I'm, I'm like pulling up, what are all the metrics that have to be synthesized to answer or to address this use case? And arguably there's pull requests. I think issues, since he's using the language of contributor, I think he's including issues in, in those um, contributions. In this case, I don't think so, but I ask it for an, uh, for an, uh, for, um, I ask it for a clarification in that. So, so when, yeah, when if I you look at my comment, I, I'm, I'm yeah. specifically talking okay. about that. But uh, my impression is that Ray was specifically interested in uh, pull requests, which means people are um, willing to contribute code specifically. But of okay. course, we can we can make the, the case more generic if you want. But well, maybe it, the, the word contributor, I think, is generally used by people who want to count things other than code. Mm -hmm. Like when I hear the term, and maybe I've just heard it the way I want to hear it, but when I've heard the term contributors, I've, I've heard at least some people use it as more of an umbrella term for issues and code. Mm -hmm. And but maybe I'm over parsing things I've heard. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. And I so, don't know. But, reason there. No, but, but this is interesting because um, if you put that together with the case of code developers, maybe what we need is a section on vocab vocabulary where we say exactly what is a contributor in the context of this specific use case, I mean. What, mm -hmm. what does Ray mean by contributor? What does he mean by co-developers? And I'm talking about informal definitions, not necessarily something that can be directly mapped to metrics. But the, the general idea of what he has in mind when he says contributor. Because for instance, my impression is that he is using in this specific case, the word contributor for code contributor. But maybe it is like you say, and maybe he's thinking about including issues as well. So that needs to, to be clarified. And for code developers, that's quite the same. So he needs to say, I'm thinking about regular contributors, or I'm thinking about developers that are recognized as core or whatever. And uh, maybe for that, what we can do is to include a section on vocabulary and any term which is not clear, try to define it let's say in later, in, in layman terms, not necessarily in, let's say, metrics terms, but later yeah. on we can map to metrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think defining it at the use case level right now makes the most sense, and I think... Okay, uh, so then what do you think about having this section in, in the use cases where this is ambiguous, like this one, on, on vocabulary? 
Yeah, I think so. The vocabulary matters the most when we're trying to define like how we're going to solve the use case, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, like, we don't have to define some things, but we have to define other things. And yeah, I guess vocabulary as a section would would give us that. And I think we could even include an example in the template, um, mm -hmm. like new contributor and uh, core developer might be. Those are, I think those are two that are going to come up more than once. So we might even provide a templated definition of at least new contributor. Um, and we might distinguish between new and depending on how we define new contributor. If it includes issues and code or just one or the other, then we would want to define, mm -hmm. we'd want to define something else then more broadly to include people who, in, you know, their first contribution is an issue. I think people are, <clears throat> if, if your issue doesn't get a response, then I think it's just as likely that that will be discouraging if you're, then if you're, you know, if your first contribution is an issue, which for many people it is, and it gets no response, that's just as unencouraging as your pull request being rejected in a sense. Yeah. Okay. So from my view, a new, I, mean, I would want to, I would want to characterize new contributors using the, the more broad definition when I read this, but if that's not raised intent, maybe we can solve that later. Okay, so uh, I'm including a comment on this, just saying okay. that we need some definitions for at least contributor, new contributor, and core developer. And uh, if you if you agree, what I'm going to do is to in the template that we have for for uh, sorry for use cases, include a new section on vocabulary explaining exactly this. In Sounds case good. there are words that could be ambiguous, please include a definition and, if possible, an example of how you use it, right? Yes. So I'm going to produce a pull request with that. Okay. Perfect. So if you have any other kind of comment for this one, please go and comment. Okay. Will do. Okay. Then there is another issue, which this one is, uh, is for you, if you want, um, um, send. Okay. Which is uh, about explaining GMD in the readme. Oh yeah, I have that on my. You list. already, you already said. So if you don't mind, I'm going to assign it to you. Yeah. So that, that, that was. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That was. Uh, let me I'll find assign myself. I can assign myself, so I'm good. Ah, you have it already assigned. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, I just self assigned. Yeah. <laughs> I'm picking that because I get the button that says assign yourself. Yeah, right. That That's made it. Uh, I need to look for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For the rest, I think uh, all of those are either stalled, and I ask it whether we can close them, or it's uh, minor issues that we need to do. And uh, I don't have a specific comments on any on any of those, so just go and comment if you want. Okay. And uh, what I can do is uh, at some point during this week. I will go through all of them again, and those that can be closed, I will close them. And for the others, we need to, to try to work on them, and that's it. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, by the way, you already, I think you already noticed that I included a new tag, which is use case, for use cases, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And I try to, to tag the other issues. Feel, please feel free to tag your issues or other issues so that we can go quicker through them. Is that a... Okay, so this one... Okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Now I understand. It's a good. It's a good label. Uh, it's just for, for for we can go quickly over use cases, for instance, in the future. Okay, and uh, this is all from my side on pull request ten issues, and I don't have further. I uh, do not either. Ten issues right now. Nor do I. Okay, and uh, what about the rest of you? Do you have any other thing that we need to talk now? Uh, so I brought this up yesterday in the general meeting, and that was um, that we have the two other work groups right now, value and uh, risk. Mm -hmm. And I think right now they're not getting very good attention. And I think both of the work groups are actually only a finite set of metrics mm -hmm. at the moment. So for example, risk seems to be honing in on, there's some human factors in risk, but a lot of it is around licensing. In value, we have a, kind of a few individual metrics which might be around downstream dependency relationships. 
So right now these work groups, really they just don't have people honing in on them. So I had suggested yesterday that we move the discussion around risk and value into GMD mm -hmm. so that we can at least consider them as metrics as part of a mature project. Mm -hmm. I think the logic is fairly clear that if a lot of the files in a project have declared licenses that might indicate maturity. Yeah. That's pretty straightforward to me. Um, we don't care in this group. We wouldn't care about what the licenses are. Of course, we make no judgment on like a Pharaoh versus MIT. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, um, uh, same would hold true with downstream value. I think we just have a few fairly straightforward metrics at the moment, but the same would hold true if a project has a high number of downstream dependencies that may help indicate that it's a fairly mature project, at least within an ecosystem, you know, that a lot of people are concerned about that project. So anyway, my point is, is I hope to bring these two kind of close down the existing risk and value work groups there are no work groups around them anyway mm -hmm. uh, and then just try to have those discussions here as needed if that's okay okay but you are proposing to keep separate repositories and a joint meeting or to put everything together or everything everything would just go into gmd okay, mm -hmm. so, um... i don't mean to overload this work group and i don't mean to take those things on but i just think it would uh, i think we would I think what i would advise is that we keep those in almost a, I guess I'd say a, just a sub, just separate folders inside the growth maturity and decline work group. So right now okay. we have focus areas. And I would just list risk and value as focus areas. That's exactly it. Yeah. Um, and then well, the, and the they, can stay out of the, they can stay out of the main line of, I guess, out of the way, if you will. Yeah. So any work on them with pull requests is guaranteed not to interfere with other things or. Agreed. Less so likely to interfere. In that case, maybe we can model exactly as you say, as uh, focus new focus areas. We now have three, so we would have two more risk yep. and value as yep. focus areas in this working group. Yep, right. that would be that would be perfect. Okay, great. So in that case, I can also produce a pull request for adding that because right now we have the list of. Uh, and, that would uh, be great. And then once that gets approved, then I would shut them down out of the main chaos repository. Okay. Okay, and in any case, uh, we, 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 we keep the name of the working group for now, right? Yeah, GMP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so if I understand well, then the structure of uh, chaos right now, according to working groups, is going to be diversity and inclusion on one, on one side and GMD on the other. And in the, case of, in the case of GMD, we're going to have five focus areas for now, yeah. which are the current three ones, plus risk and value, right? And if, if you want. If you want, uh, Pacey's, I can just include those new directories in my pull request explaining the growth maturity decline working group because I'll probably have to reference those directories when I create the description. Uh, which directories do you mean? The, the new directories for uh, risk. risk value under focus areas. When uh, I explain the growth maturity decline working group, which okay, I... But, but, yeah, okay. I would, would I would just mean, add those directories. Okay. Okay, so what do you mean? What do you mean is, uh, in addition to code development, for instance, in in focus areas, mm -hmm. we are going to have these two new ones. That that's fine right. with me. Yeah, and I was just saying I could add them. You'd mentioned doing it, and I said I can add them when I'm doing the definition of the working group, since it's yeah, okay, I okay. have to include that's, them now anyway. If you don't mind, just to separate uh, pull requests for that, just okay. just to discuss on the readme on one hand. Because the other is going okay. to be basically, if I understand well, it's going to be just dumping the, the what you have in the directory right now. In okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Great. That's fine. That's awesome. uh, I, I like this way because that, that means that we are finally structured and everything that we had at the beginning is now in one of the working groups. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's a little simpler message to tell as yeah. well. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. That's it for me. That's okay. it for me. I updated the pull request. And unfortunately, request. it resulted in a lot of changes. So when I get diff locally, I only see the change that I made. But because I merged all of the changes made since I originally created, it shows up as a lot more. So. Okay. 
we can either merge the pull request that I have now or just create a new one with only the new chain. I think uh, if, if it becomes too complex, yes, close this one pull request and, and, and create a new one. If it becomes too complex, I think, uh, if you agree. Well, it's, it's um, both the same. I see. Basically, you've got the same. You've got the same history. You're basically submit your submission includes a record of the history of changes, because you had to update your forked repository, and that's what's reflected. Yes. But the final, but the final result is the same. Yes. Well, in that case, I don't mind. I think we can just merge it, right? Because the result's going to be the same, right, Georg? Yes. Okay, if the result is going to be the same, I don't see. So the, the problem you see is that there are more commits or something like that, right? Yeah, because there are 43 commits, I see. Oh. They show up and when you look at the changed files in the pull request, it says some 100 some files changed. Yeah, so m maybe, yeah. So I'm ready to just create a no pull request on this or um, uh, the only problem is that the history of the repository is going to be a bit, uh, but no, it, it's saying that there are 163 file chains. Yeah. It is, but that's only because it's an old pull request. If I create a new pull request from the same branch, it will only show the new change. Maybe that would be better just in terms of following this. And for, uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm just uh, checking, but uh, I'm I'm not sure that's the case, Georg. For instance, if you look at the first file in the div, dot git ignore, so it is adding something which is not in master right now, the dot ds store. No, it's For adding instance. it to the git ignore. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would say anyway, I'll it close it, refork it, add it. Yeah. Here, close pull request, and then I'll create one from the exact same branch. Yep. Okay. That, that sounds good, Gerard. So in any case, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the readme, and yeah, you're right. It seems that, for instance, the readme is exactly the version that we have now. So I don't, I don't understand why it says that it's changing, touching so many files, but yeah. Maybe because of all of the, all those commits are touching some files at some point. So whatever you do, if if you want to 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 resubmit it again, that's fine. Or whatever you. It's do. already done. So pull request thirty nine is an all new brand new pull request from the exact same. Brand. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So yeah. whenever you're ready. Yeah, I, I think see. we already I'm, proved it and everything. So. I'm going to I'm going to approve it right now so that we are not taking more time in this. Okay. Perfect. So let me check. I'm going to review. That's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Right. Perfect. Okay. I'm, I'm merging it right now. Excellent. Okay, then. All right. Anything Thank else? You. Not for me. Okay. Then. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.